Okay, I'm going to work through these order of operation questions for you. Um, if you got any questions after watching this, uh, any confusion about anything, uh, don't hesitate to ask still. Uh, but obviously we're working with parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Okay, so parentheses are the first thing, so I'm going to look inside these parentheses here. Okay, they're the only ones that I have operations inside. And I'm going to run through the operations. Okay, so as I go and I look at just this stuff, I'm going to run through order of operations again. There's no more inside parentheses. There's no exponents. There's no multiplication, division. There's only adding and subtracting. So I'm going to do that as from left to right. Now, because it's all addition and all subtraction, I can kind of do this as a running total. So I'm going to go negative 2 plus another negative 2 gives me negative 4. And this will be minus a negative 2, so that's actually plus 2. So I've got negative 4 plus 2, which turns this thing into negative 2. I'm going to have everything else that I didn't touch brought down. And now going through the order of operations, we've already addressed parentheses. We now need to get to exponents. So I'm going to go find the exponent. Right here is an exponent. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So now I have negative 14 divided by negative 2 times in my 1. So now I get the multiply and divide. I need to go left to right, whichever ones I see first. So I see division first. So I get negative 14 divided by negative 2. So that gives me 7. And I've got this times 1. So 7 times 1 gives me 7. So we're looking at 7 for the answer there. Um, continue working to the next question. So again, order of operations here. All right, so we're looking at these parentheses first. Uh, I'm going to change that to negative 15. We've got division. Uh, at the same time, I can do these parentheses because they're separate than these. They're not nested. Uh, so I can do the stuff that's in there. And if I run through the order of operations in there, obviously I've only got the addition that I can do here. So negative 6 plus 9 gives me 3. And I've got my minus 10 and then I haven't touched. So I have negative 15 divided by 3 minus 10. Go through the order of operations here and it's multiply and divide first. So I've got to do this division. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. And then my minus 10. So then doing that, I get negative 15. Uh, looking at number 3. Um, no parentheses, uh, but I do have exponents here. So I've got to do that. So we got negative 9. This will be plus then. That turns into 9. Plus 7. Plus 24 divided by negative 8. Order of operations says then once you've done exponents, you go multiply and divide. So we go through here. And here's the division. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 9 plus 9 plus 7. Now positive 24 divided by a negative 8 ends up giving me negative 3. And now I can go, let's all addition now, so I can go left or right and just keep a running total. So negative 9 plus 9 gives me 0, plus 7 will give me 7, minus 3 ends up giving me 4. Okay, so in this one, um, go to the parentheses. Do that first, so it gives me 4. Everything else stays the same. Oh, I think that's a plus sign there. And then 8 times 9. Uh, so now we got to go left to right. Uh, multiplication, division as we see them. So. Um, what we're doing here, and this one's a little bit different than what we've seen, that's got a, that's a negative 4 divided by 4. When I'm doing that operation, I've got to use that. We're talking about in class, we've got to use that sign. Um, so this will be 6. So negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. So it'll be plus a negative 1. And then I get here plus, now I can do this here, and that's going to give me 72. So now I have 6 plus negative 1, so that's 5 right there. Turns into 5 plus 72, so it gives me 77 as my result.
number five. Okay, we should be able to do that. Um, 11 minus one minus one is gonna give me nine. So we got my division. Now these are another set of parentheses, so I can do that. Negative 10 minus nine, so negative 19, plus then 10 uh, should give me negative nine. Nine divided by negative nine should end up giving me negative one. Here again, so we've got two separate sets of parentheses, so we can do that set, and then we can do that set. So I do the order of operations inside here, so it gives me 27. And I'll have division. And now inside here, we've got, we got a little bit of work to do, because we gotta do the multiplication first. We've got negative one, minus, so when I multiply, we gotta multiply the sign. So negative two times negative four gives me a positive eight. So this sign here, transfer to there, these two work together through multiplication to be positive. So I've really got negative one minus eight. So we've got 27 divided by doing that work, negative one minus eight gives me negative nine. Sorry, that's wrong. Negative one minus, yeah, that's right. Negative one minus eight, sorry, um, is negative nine. Now 27 divided by negative nine gives me negative three. Uh, working through these, just going to go work through them a little bit quicker. Uh, we've got nested parentheses here, so we've got to do that first. 10 minus 9 is 1. So now I've got negative 7 plus 5 minus that 1 times n negative 10 times n negative 1. Still working in these parentheses, negative 7 minus 5, or plus 5 is negative 2, minus 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 then times negative 10 then times negative one. Order of operations says do multiplication, division, left to right as you see them. So we have negative three times negative 10, which is 30. And then times my negative one. So 30 times negative one will give me negative 30. Uh, number eight here. Parentheses again, so that's going to be a negative 7. So we've got negative 10 times 3 minus negative 7 plus 6 minus 7. Working left to right, so negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. Minus then negative 7 plus 6 minus 7. Left to right, so that's all addition now or subtraction. So negative 30 minus a negative, so that's going to be negative 30. I'm just going to write this down, plus 7 plus six minus seven. I think the easier thing to do here is to recognize that those two things are opposite, so they're gonna cancel each other out. And we got negative 30 plus six ends up giving me negative 24. Parentheses first. So remember that, that turns into a plus, so it's really gonna be negative four here. I've got my minus seven. Got this division out here, subtraction. Okay, so order of operations tells me I need to find the multiplication division first, so that's this stuff here. And remember we gotta do the sign, use the sign, so negative 12 divided by negative four gives me three. We got negative two minus eight. That was a positive three, so it'll be plus three, and then minus seven. So now it's all addition, subtraction, so left to right. Negative two minus eight is negative 10. Plus three gives me negative seven. Minus seven again will give me negative 14. Now these parentheses are telling me to work here first, so six times two is 12, and there'll be division. Now I've got these parentheses, so I can do that work as well. Uh, so that's 10, minus one is nine, minus five is four, 
So this really turns into 12 divided by 4, which is 3. Um, it's kind of a mess here with all the parentheses, so I'm going to find that parenthesis is going to work with that one. So I need to work inside here, so the innermost set of parentheses that I can actually do some work here with are those two. The six, obviously there's nothing inside this set of parentheses with that six that I can do an operation with. So it's going to give me, obviously, the six, and then I'll, negative five minus two gives me negative seven. I've got my negative 4 minus 9 times 10. Now these parentheses here are still nesting this multiplication, so I'll do that first. Uh, so what's that, negative 42? And then I've got my negative 4 minus then this 9 times 10. So a negative times a negative, this number here is going to be positive, so it gives me, what, 8, 168. And then this is going to give me 90. So you have 168 minus 90, that should give me 70 as an answer. This one's pretty similar. Uh, it's really the same structure. Those parentheses. Um, and so I'm looking inside those parentheses. I'm going to do this multiplication first. So it gives me negative 12. Okay. Minus a negative 6 becomes positive 6. I can also work inside these parentheses. You get 10 minus a negative 2, so that turns into a plus, so that's 10 plus 2 is 12. Minus our 8. So negative 2, or negative 12 plus 6 gives me negative 6. I've got 12 and minus 8. Okay, so I've done parentheses and the operations that exist inside those parentheses. Now I'm down to this, and I get to exponents are none of those, multiply, I can do that multiplication. So you get negative 72 minus 8, that'll give me negative 80. Alright, so this stuff is the same thing, we just got that one added step of uh, substitution first. So it's going to be 5 minus 2 plus negative 4 divided by 4. Looking inside the parentheses first, I'm going to redo my order of operations inside here, and I get to the first thing I can do is the division. There's no parentheses inside here. There's no exponents inside here. There's no multiplication inside here. There is division, though, right here. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5 minus 2. I'm going to do that division. And remember, it's negative 4 divided by 4, so it gives me plus negative 1, which we know I can rewrite that as 5 minus 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, 5 minus 1 should give me 4. I'll just do 15 here. Um, y is 5 minus x is 4, y is 5 again. So this xy is telling me multiplication, so I need to do that first. So we have 5 minus 20, so we negative 15. And then the last one, or the last two I guess, Okay, Q is negative 3, M is 5, we'll divide that by 3, add 10. So left to right, there are no parentheses that I can really work inside of, there are no exponents, so I get to multiply and divide, I do those left to right, so that's the first thing you need to do is negative 15, and it'll be divided by 3 then, plus 10. So here, working left to right, I get to the division, so I can do that, negative 5 divided by 3 is negative, or negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. I got my plus 10, so it's going to give me 5. And the last one here, uh, z is negative 5, y, 9, plus then negative 5, minus then 9. I'll work on the inside here, and the inside of these parentheses. There's no exponents, there's no multiplication division, just adding and subtracting. So 9 plus negative 5 is 4, minus 9 is negative 5. So I'm left with just this, negative 5 times negative 5 ends up being 25. Uh, just a quick, uh, if you need just the solutions, uh, there should be the solutions then uh, for all of those questions.